Hello, mate. Hello, mate. How are you? Okay. Good. Camera. I'll tell you all about it. It's not leaked for a good It hasn't leaked for a while because I taped it. It's oh, you can see it running all down, can't you? Yeah. What obviously there is, there's a blending valve somewhere, but as you can see, the bathtub just goes straight into the floor. Nobody knows where this blending valve is. It's a case of bath out, tiles up, and tracing where it is, thinking they've possibly put the blending valve in the floor somewhere. Finding the valve, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare, I think. And as you can see, it's just tripping out constantly. I told you it's a busy day. She's given me a rough sort of figure, and I'll give you a, a, a quick off the top of my head price, roughly what it's gonna be. This is just as a guide, so I can sort of show you really where we're at with the pricing on that bathroom. For, basically for everything on that job, I've come to. Right, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Um, today's video is a video that I'm going to do because a lot of people have asked me about this over a period of time, about pricing work and what I charge to do certain jobs. So I've, what I've got to do, I've got to go and look at a, a job today for a regular customer of mine. Um, he's got an issue with a waste pipe. And I've also got to go and look at a bathroom. Now, the bathroom is for another customer of mine, but it's in their rental property. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you with me for the first sort of viewing of this bathroom and then what i'll do i'll show i'll show you exactly what they want doing i'll tell you roughly what i think it's going to cost because when you've been in the game you know for a good few years you can work out roughly whereabouts you know customers are, are going to be at with the pricing so i'll give you a rough cost of what i think it is then we'll go to plum base price up the job also allowing for uh, like labor plasterer tiling aqua boarding whatever they want um fittings materials etc etc and then i'll tell you exactly what the bathroom's going to cost and um go from there just give you a little insight into the, the pricing looking at jobs pricing how to work out what you're going to charge uh so i think i'll be quite insightful a lot of people ask me about that so we're going to go and do that so first off we've got to pop to a customer of mine up in warwick and um and see what he's got for us so I think it'll be a bit of an interesting video. I think you'll enjoy this one. Right, let's get going. So I've just got to the first job. This is for a customer of mine that I've done work for for probably 20 odd years now. Uh, he's good as gold. And I think from his message, I think the issue might be somewhere over there. But we'll go and take a look. That's if he doesn't mind being on camera, I'm not sure. Hello mate, how are you? Okay. Good. Stuck. Camera. I'll tell you all about it. Do you know what do you, do you mind being filmed or not? No, not at all. No problem for a good while actually. Right. Um, not leaked for a good it hasn't leaked for a while because I taped it. Is that one there off yeah. the basin? Yeah. Right. And it, I don't know. If, it's, oh, you can see it running all down, can't you? Yeah, it runs all the way down, and um, you know that tape has been on there for a good while, and I can't actually tell you definitely where it's leaking from, whether it's where it goes into yeah. the stack or. Yeah. I mean, looking at that, yeah. probably what I would do is, can we get to that waste pipe on the basin where the basin is? Is it accessible in the bathroom? Uh, fairly easily. Yeah. I'm just thinking what I might do is complete take all of that out. Yeah. Cap that boss off where it goes into ears yeah, called the boss. Yeah, Cap yeah. that boss off because it looks like it's had its had its day sort of thing. Yeah. And then drill another one. Make a fresh yeah, connection. Put put a, a fresh connection underneath yeah. and go up and in. Yeah. If we could just yeah. take a look in the bathroom then and just see yeah, what's yeah. So that's the base. Here. So it goes through here, Jeff, does it? It does, yeah. It goes through there. It does a right angle that way. Yeah. Okay. And then all the way round. So that's the basin, yeah. and you can see here the waste pipes coming out of the basin, running around the back of this little cupboard. Yeah. And as you can see down there, the waste pipes there. So what I'm going to do is get Jeff to clear all this out for me. I'll price up exactly what he needs, yeah. give him a ring, let him know when I can get back. To be fair, I'll probably be able to get back pretty soonish and get this done, and then uh, sort that out. But 
just a little bit of access needed, which isn't a problem. We cut that and put a fresh, what I'll do is cut that, cut that, put an inch and a quarter coupler on it and then go out externally. With a new bit of Yeah, with a new bit of black pipe and then boss into that four inch with a new boss. So as I said inside, we just cut a coupler in, poke some, what I'll do is poke some black pipe out, come off there, a couple more elbows and I'll take that pipe work out, yeah. cap that off and then drill a new boss into there all in black so it matches up a bit better cap that one off come down there put it back in there so we'll get that one uh, sorted thanks no worries so there we go you could see exactly what i've got to do there is just get access into that cupboard cut that waste pipe internally i'll put a inch and a quarter mechanical coupler on it so i'll go into black solvent weld waste out the wall Elbow down, elbow back. I'll cut a fresh boss into that stack uh, and then we'll drill it into there. And what I'll do, I'll, I'll cap off that existing stack that's there. And like I just said to Jeff, to be fair, a little job like that, it's, it's five minutes from where I live. So a little job like that, I said to him, I'll get the bits and I'll swing in tomorrow at some point and, uh, and get that done for him. I said, just make sure that, that cupboard's clear. You go to a lot of houses where the cupboards are just rammed full of stuff. Um, and it's quite funny because the homeowners will always go, oh, sorry about this. It's not a problem, just pop it out of the way and then get in there and see what's what. So cost of a job like that, I mean, Jeff's a customer of my mind. I've done work for him for 15, 20 years, so I always look after him. But something like that, just off the top of my head, he even said to me, what sort of money is it going to be? So just off the top of my head, you know you're going to need a couple of little fittings, a length of pipe, a strap boss, a few little bits. So let's say, for instance, 20, 25 quid's worth of fittings. It's going to take me probably an hour to do something like that so i said to jeff you're looking about 140 now years in the game years in the trade you get to know how much things are going to cost um i know that i can just go and grab those bits chuck them in the van swing into jeff's tomorrow get it done it won't take me long at all and i know i'll get repeat work from him so just off the top of my head that's what it's going to be. Uh, told him, he's happy as Larry with that. Yeah, no problem. Give me a shout when I can come and do it. And as I said, I'll probably get to do it tomorrow. Uh, right, let's get over now to the next one. The next one's going to be, um, it, it's on, a, it's on a, a new housing estate that I think one of my very early videos of changing the shower stream was from. Basically, a building company has done a load of work there. The houses are probably two years old and they're crap, basically. So I think... I'm not sure what we've got to do. I think there's an issue with the hot water on the bath tap and a leak somewhere as well. So we're going to fly over there, have a look and go from there. Okay, so I'm at this house where they've got a few issues. It's, I think it's two years old, this house is, and they've had issues from day one since they've moved in. Um, I went to a property next door and sorted some issues out again. The builders, they built the houses, handed them over, sold them, and just literally washed their hands with them. They sent a handyman out now and again to look at these issues, but they're just making their headway on it. Basically what it is, this bath tap is lukewarm at best. It's never been hot. You turn, you turn the hot tap on the basin, it is red hot. Can't hold your hand under it. Turn the hot tap on the bath, it is lukewarm. So what, what obviously there is, there's a blending valve somewhere, but as you can see, the bath tap just goes straight into the floor. Nobody knows where this blending valve is. Um, and then we've got the cylinder here. Mega flow pressurized cylinder, hot off the top, just disappears straight into the wall. So nobody's got a clue where this blending valve is. We've been up into the roof, looked up there, checked everywhere in here, there's nothing. So what I've said to Dan, the customer is, without knowing where these pipes go off the bottom of here. Um, it's a case of bath out, tiles up and tracing where it is, thinking they've possibly put the blending valve in the floor somewhere, which obviously they shouldn't do. It's not great because you can't get to it if there's an issue, like there is an issue. So what we've thought of doing now is, <laughs> we're just sort of trying everything really. So I'm gonna take this off, see if we can alter the hot water, you know, whether the blending valve or the thermostat in there is knackered or what. We're just sort of trying the easiest options to start with before we go baths out because I think he's worked out the pipe work comes down here and going that route really. So what I'm going to do is whip this off, see if there's any adjustment in it. I don't think there will be, but it's worth giving it a go. 
And then also another little issue that they've got is, if I can find the right switch, is this shower. Basically, if you turn it to a certain point, uh, where are we? Um, it's not going to do it now, is it? Of course, it's not. You turn the, turn the thermostat side to a certain point. There we go. And as you can see, it's just dripping out constantly. So what we'll do, we'll have a look at the bath first and then we'll come in, whip this head off, see if there's anything obvious. It might just be the pin inside the thermostatic valve or it might be a case of just completely replacing the cartridge, but we'll have a look. See, it stops now. So I think it's like a packing gland. Do you know what you get on the tap? Just a packing gland goes in it. We'll have a look at that, but we'll see what we can do with this bath first. So, as you can see, it is just a normal um, sort of quarter turn tap. You, you know, the heads just move left and uh, front and back for it to come on. So, what I'm going to do is whip the water off, take this out, and see if there's anything in there obvious. So that's that cartridge that we've taken out. It's just a, a generic, I don't know what they're called actually, but I think I'm sure we've all used them before. Basically hot in, cold in, or either either way. And then out the bottom there is where it's coming out. And then obviously into your spout. So that's just a sort of a regulator, turn it on and off. So it's not blending any heat or doing any sort of, any sort of uh, thermostat based stuff there. Inside there, you've got a brass block where your flex is going to go into, divert a valve into there, divert a valve into, divert a valve into the hand one, divert a valve into the tap. So we'll get that back in, that's obviously fine. It just means there's a blending valve somewhere. And it's going to be a pain in the ass to find. So that's the tap put back together. Again, it is just lukewarm, loop. It's lukewarm to touch. Um, if anyone's got any brainwave ideas of where the uh, mixing valve can be, then I'm more than happy to uh, try some out. But the only other way is bath out and just trace the pipes back as far as it goes. I say, if they're coming in here, this is red hot. So this is pre-blended, that's post-blended, but finding a valve is going to be a bit of a nightmare, I think. You know, and it's a... Uh, I just said to the customer, you can't price something like that. It's a case of just going at it. Um, and if you're willing to, to go at it, it's an open checkbook sort of thing, if you know what I mean. So you've got to take the tiles up. Of course, then you want the tiles putting down and everything making good. So where do you stop? Where do you stop? Where do you start? Right, so let's get a look at this uh, shower. Right, so just whip the little cap off there. Let's... I'm do this scrub screw, take this end off, and just see if it's uh, the packing ground inside that just needs tightening up. Hopefully it is. I've just had the water off, took this end off here and tried to locate where the lead's coming from. There doesn't seem to be a packing gland. I don't know what make shower that is, so what I'm going to advise them to do, because also this is broke off and there's a f it's just you know, it's all wobbly and loose and this and that. So what I'm just going to advise them to do is just to get a complete new shower unit. Luckily, obviously the pipe work's going to be in the same place. So you just take that one out, put a new one in, and that's that sorted. I know it's a bit of a bit of a, a different way of approaching it, but when you don't know what valve that is, plus then valves could be 50, 60 quid, by the, and then you've got to replace that. By the time you took it all apart, you might as well just bang another one on there. Um, that's what I'll advise him to do. Also, while we're here, he pointed out this uh, blanking plug has sort of like got a load of line of scale and whatnot around it. The top one's fine, obviously, this one isn't. So, again, it'd be a case of shutting the water off, draining this cylinder down. We've got, luckily, we've got a drain point down here where the cold feed comes in, so we could completely drain it down. Take that bung out, clean it up, reseal it with some Loctite 55 or whatnot, and redo the bung in there. 
but it's not worth doing that and if, unless we do the shower and it's not worth doing the shower unless we don't know what we're going to do with the bath so you know these are one of the again one of these little jobs where there's loads of little ones have got to come out and have a look i'm going to advise them about the shower advise them we can do that and the shower at one point but then the bath the whole bath thing is going to be a bit of an issue i think um so i'm not sure what route he wants to take with that so i'll go and speak to him and see what he says um so there we go that job is just a bit of a pain in the ass job um as you can see we don't know where we're going to go out with the bath um i've advised the customer about the shower now because the the building company he's basically wants a quote for what i've advised him to do to send to the building company uh, and they're just going to go yeah there's the money get it sorted out which is a bit crap by them they just sort of wash their hands i will link up into the corner to the previous video I did this time last year from the house next door, uh, just to give you a bit of an insight into what the builders are doing or they, they're basically not doing. So yeah, so I'm gonna go away, give the guy a quote for a new shower um, to replace the bung in the tank, to reseal it. And for the bath, it's gonna be just an open-ended invest. I'm gonna put it as an investigation and see what they come back as. How am I gonna quote it? So the shower, obviously I'll price up the shower and then, you know, looking at that, it's probably gonna be, 80 quid to swap the shower over. Um, let's say to drain the tank down, get the take the bung out, clean it up, put another one in. Yeah, that's good. We, that's going to be around sort of like the 60 quid mark. Um, and then as for the bath, that's going to be the toughie, you know, because we, we, might, we might rip the floor of that bathroom up and not even find the valve. So then we've got to retile the floor, put the bath back in. So I'm going to have to have a little think about that. I may put something down. You know, I'll speak to my tile, let's see. Again, you've got to match the tiles. How, I, I'm not going to be able to match those tiles, I wouldn't have thought. So that job is just a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare. The other bits are fine, the bath's a nightmare a bit. So, but that just gives you an insight into what you're up against. So I've been there for probably, probably an hour, tried to sort little bits out, couldn't do it, but I'll just add the, add the time of that onto the, the quote. So hopefully if I get it, I can recoup them little bits back. Right, I told you it's a busy day. We're now going over to um, a customer of mine that she's got a property she rents out and she wants a, a bathroom. She wants a new bathroom, give or take. She wants a bathroom refurbed. What's in there at the minute is bath, basin, toilet, shower. Um, and she sort of spoke to me and said, right, can you go over there? She said, I don't really know what I want. Can you go over there, have a measure up, come at me with some ideas. I think I want the bath out and just a shower putting in. Um, and she said she's not opposed to moving some walls around if need be to give them more space, this, that, and the other. So we're gonna go over there now. I don't know if I'll be able to film in there. Hopefully I should be able to, but we're gonna go over there now, see what's what, take some measurements, speak to um, speak to the speak to the client while I'm there um, and just throw some ideas around with her. Have a measure up, see how many, t what the square footage for the tile is gonna be, see if the ceiling needs replastering, what electric work needs doing, um, whether anything's gonna have to move about. She's given me a rough sort of figure where she's at with it. Um, so we'll go and have a look. And then what I'm gonna do is go and have a look, have a measure up, and then what I'll do, I'll jump back in here and I'll give you a, a, a quick, off the top of my head price, roughly what it's gonna be. When you've been in the game as long as what I have, you can look at a bathroom, go, right, it's gonna be roughly this much labor, roughly this much in plastering, this much in tiling, this much in electrics. So you, you can get a rough ballpark figure of where you're gonna be, plus your tiles, plus your suite. So we'll go and have a look and see where we're at with it and see what we can do with the bathroom. Have a look. Right, so this is the bathroom that we've come to look at. So the owner's given me a blank sheet to sort of give her some ideas. So looking at it, they want the bath out, they want a shower putting in. Uh, because of the room, basin's gonna stay there, toilet's gonna stay there. What we've got in this corner is this square box. And what I can see straight away from that is that will be the soil pipe going up. So because they've got the bath here, what they've done is that saw pipe in the corner, so they've just added this ledge just to keep that area flush to fit a bath in. So what I'm thinking is take this out, take it out where the boxing is there, that gives us 1500 across there. 
Bring this out across to 700, which is roughly about here. You're gonna gain that much more into the bathroom. You shower, if that wall's coming out here, you can put some niches in there. That gives you the end wall, then a 1500 complete, 1500 by 700 shower. So you'll be then working off here instead of here. So you're gaining that. So the edge of the shower will finish sort of here. Have that completely, just one single screen across the front, sliding door, electric shower on the end, cold main into that replacement shower. Screen across there, 1500 by 700 shower tray. That'll work a treat there. New towel rail, maybe slightly higher. Replacement toilet, replacement basin, maybe even. I'm not sure what we've got. We could possibly put a vanity unit in, but it's all down to cost, really. Yeah, we've got 600 there. And if we move that wall, we'd have 600 there. So that would give us 1200 along there. Depending on costage, you may want a completely uh, vanity unit and toilet all in and then you just got the pan out the bottom um, and it will also cover that boxing up there with because obviously inside there you've got waste pipe, soil pipe so by putting some units in there and free up a bit more space, look a lot neater work top along the top which could tie into the end of there so that's what I'm going to sort of suggest to her she's given me sort of free reign on it again so you come in here you'd have to take all the complete tiles off um, completely remove the bathroom and give you a start afresh again moving that and also ceiling wise I'm going to price her up for four spots in the ceiling complete reskim of the ceiling where these tiles come off depending usually it takes sods or it takes the, the the plaster off and that sort of stuff but what she wants me to quote for in this is you know the aqua panel the aqua boards as opposed to tiling obviously that would come round within the window we'd have to put source them put them inside there seal it all up the window is, you know, it is what it is, an opening window in the shower, frosty glass, as I say, real world plumbing, this is exactly what it's like. So what we can do is have a look at this. I'm gonna say, just put on the spot here, I've just sort of noted down everything here, but as a rough guide, I'm gonna say, hmm, you're probably looking around, seven eight grand that's with everything that's with tiles uh, sorry that's with aqua boards new shower new skim ceiling lights all the sanitary wear new basin new toilet uh, will work roughly off that price point um i can do some sums in a bit and work out exactly what it is for her but just for your sake and for this video i'm going to say around about eight grand ish maybe a touch under depending on what sort of style she wants to go for. But that just gives you, the first time I've seen it, so it just gives you a rough idea of how, just looking at it, you can see how everything's gonna be laid out and we can work back from there. So what I'll do now is I'll just drop her a message or drop, give her a ring actually, um, and just see what she says. So what I'll do now, I'll pop to Plum Base now, speak to Dave, uh, get him to quickly price me up for a tray, a screen, uh, a basin, a toilet, a towel rail, materials, a few materials, and an, a new electric shower. So we know roughly what we're dealing at there. Then I can base what it is and see how close I was to what I roughly think it's gonna be. Right, so we're at Plum Base now. Come see Dave. I've got a list from that job of what we need. So we've got the 1500 by 700 shower tray. So we'll need that, the waste, um, and the screen to go with that, plus basin, tap, waste, and trap for the basin. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna price up just a pedestal and basin, um, because I know the woman is quite conscious of costings on it. Again, WC system, just a normal close couple. Dave does a pack with Dave you know, with the basin yeah. and the toilet. So we'll, we'll get just a generic one. Then if she says, right, okay, I want to go for vanity units or I want to go for this, we can tweak it. But this is just as a guide so I can sort of show you roughly where we're at with the pricing on that bathroom. Again, a towel rail, 500 by 900 chrome towel rail and valves. So we'll just go through it with Dave now and he can give me a sort of a figure. Figure will give me, obviously, I put a little bit on top, 10, 15%, it's usually 15% on top of what Dave quotes me. But off the back of that, I get a, a big discount from what 
Joe Bloggs would if they come in. So the customer's getting a better deal. I'm making a little bit on the materials for the for the main part of, let's say I fit a basin with a tap. Eight months down the line, there's an issue with the tap. Because I've supplied it, I've got to go and change it for free. Um, if the customer supplies it, they may get it a little bit cheaper, but then they've got to pay me to come and fit it, Take uh, pay me to come and fit it in the first place, then to go take it out, and it's just whatever I supply, I guarantee anyway. So, David, let's get David. 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 So, David. Dave. Right, are we ready? Ready to rumble? I'm just glad you said. 1500 by 700 low level tray. Uh, waste with, waste it, with it as well, yeah. So now when you're talking about the toilet, standard toilet, yeah. what do you want, just a bog standard one or do you want something half decent? Because this is where everyone's different, yeah. aren't they? Just a nice looking, not a cheap shit one, just a nice looking close couple pan and system mm. and a pedestal and basin that, that just work, just looks Nice. She, did, she She basically said to me, this, the thing I've got is, I just want to freshen up the bathroom and make it look a lot better. Okay. But this is, you know, this is why I'm, I'm filming this, because people's, I could freshen the bathroom up for next to nothing, to a degree, or you could spend loads on it. So Dave's found um, a pan and cistern, basin and pedestal that work together. Uh, not stupid amounts of money, but still a nice sort of, Nice thing to have in the bathroom. So, so we found a tap to work with. It's quite a square basin with rounded edges. So Dave's found a tap that will work with that. Again, the customer sort of left it to me. And like we just said, it's hard sometimes when customers say, what do you think? But uh, uh, this woman just wants it freshening up and just to work a little bit better. Toilet system and seat, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 500 by 900 chrome towel rail. 500. Or 500 by 800. 1,000, got, well, it's about smaller, 800? Yeah. Yeah, 500 by 800 chrome towel rail. Valves and towel rail, yeah. Uh, right, a 9.5 kilowatt electric shower. Um, Bristol. <laughs> no. So let's just go through it. So you've got 1500 by, 1500 by 700 tray Sorry. and waste. Yeah. 1500 screen. Yes. Basin, tap, waste and trap. Yes. WC, cistern and seat. Yes. Towel rail, 500 by 800 chrome with valves. Yeah. Shower. Yes. Yeah, so print that off for us, Dave. So what Dave's done, what I've done, sat with Dave now and priced up, or, or spoke to Dave, and we've got a price now for all the main bits of that bathroom. What I always do with the bathroom is now, I'll put a sort of a remedial, remedial, is that the right word? A nominal amount for materials, for pipe work, fittings, this, that, and the other. Put about 300 quid in for it. You know it's gonna cover exactly what you're gonna do. If there's anything you know you need that you haven't put in, then it's all part of that pricing a job. But I, know, I always know, give or take, we're around that sort of figure for materials. So depending on what Dave comes back with now, we shall see. How much is it, Dave, altogether? As I said, Dave will put a bit of discount on it, my discount. I'll pass that over to the customer, but I'll also put 15% on for myself, as we said, if anything goes wrong or, you know. At the end of the day, you're running a business. You've got to make money. So we'll put that on. We'll then have a point of, we you know how much materials are, can then work the labour, electrics, plastering, tiling, etc., etc., and work back from there. Right, so we've got the quote here from Dave. So all of that stuff we've just been through comes out to me at 1,117 quid, plus my 15% on the top brings us to 12.85. So 12.85 for the suite, and all the little bits, plus a little bit for materials, so we can now work out the rest of the job and get a, a firmish figure and move from there, and I can drop a, a message and let her know where we're at with it. So then Dave's just priced me up for the aqua boards as a rough sort of guide, again, just so we can get a price to her. You're looking around 100 quid-ish per panel, um, and then probably 80 quid's worth of internal, external corners. Uh, panels we're gonna need four in a bit so we say five panels 100 quids worth of corners bits to go around that window so we can work that out roughly you're looking give or take just a quick bit of mass you're looking about 600 quid um for the paneling so you're around for the paneling of the suite you're around give or take once i've sorted everything out you're around two grand for that and then you're going to have to work your labor on top because we're going to have to have the chippy in to do a little bit of stud work niches in that end bit uh, we're going to have to have the plasterer in to redo the ceiling, electrician come in, do his lights, 
Um, so we're going to work back from there. Now we've got these figures from Dave for all the stuff, the suite, the boards, you can now go away and work out the labour for the other bits and get a figure to her. Right, so there we go. We've just been with Dave in Plum Bay sorting out the price for the suite. As a breakdown then, to see where we was at, I, I think I sort of said around... I think what was my mark? I think I said around eight grand ish, give or take. So what we've come out with with the suite and the boards. So the, the all the suite in there that you just see me price up, and the aqua boards for the electrician for four downlighters and an extractor fan, plastering of the ceiling, uh, a chippy, and the materials to form the stud work at the side, and any little remedial work boxings around where the basin and the the toilet's going to go. Um, Materials, just a generic sort of materials cost for things like pipe work, um, waste pipes, traps, stuff like that. I've always put about 300 quid in. And for labour, basically for everything on that job, I've come to 7,550 quid. So I'll put that to uh, the customer. I'll type it up and get over to her tonight, email it over to her tonight. Um, and then we can see roughly where we're at with it. Um, I think it's within a budget. So I weren't too far out looking at what I thought it was going to be when just from eyeing it up. And that's what comes with time. That's where you get to see something. You get to look at a bathroom and go, right, roughly, I know you're going to be roughly around that. And I've done it before. I've been to houses where you walk in and, and you start looking and you say to them, have you got a, a rough guide price of where you want to be at? And if they say, you know, three or four grand, I literally go, right, okay you're not going to get it for that. You know, you, someone out there might be able to do it for that, but for me to do it, you're not going to get it for that. So that just gave you a little bit of an insight into going from seeing it, in with Dave, talking figures with the, the suites and stuff like that. And then it's things like the electrician and lights. I know that my electrician charges me 450, 500 quid for four spotlights, extractor fan, stuff like that. Plastering the ceiling and a few little bits going to be two and a half hundred quid. Um, so you know where you're at with it. So I hope that little insight helped a few of you out. I know I've been asked a lot about um, pricing jobs and also going over to look at that job that we went to look at. So just off the back of that, uh, where are we? Just wrote it down somewhere. So a shower, you remember that shower that was up, um, that was leaking and I said what I'll do is um, just completely ch switch the shower out for a new one. A replacement shower for theirs for you know 250 quid. Um, and then, like I said, obviously the labour to do it, but the building company are going to pay that to just get it done. So, hope that insight was quite helpful for you. I hope you took something from it. If so, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. As I always say, get subscribed to the channel so you're not going to miss anything else. And um, we'll catch you on the next one.